If you're one of those guys who cannot play anything on the guitar without tabs, you're missing out. And I know you're gonna say, well, I don't have a great ear. My knowledge of scales and theory is very limited. It doesn't matter. And I guarantee that after watching this video, you're gonna be ready to ditch the tabs. Now I'm saying that now, but things really didn't start that way. As a matter of fact, I was one of those players who could not play a single note without having the tabs. I was 15 years old when I started playing, and at the time, there was a group of us that would just kind of exchange tabs at recess. Now, those tabs were really precious at the time, and it was not something you wanted to share with everyone because we, as 15-year-olds, wanted the other people to think that we figured all of that by ourselves. Now, there's nothing wrong with that in itself, but what happened when I was learning how to play guitar by reading those tablatures is that I got used to getting my information visually. Music is not a visual thing. Music is an ear thing. And we all know that instinctively, but when I was studying my guitar, looking at these tablatures, my ear was really not engaged at all. And just like anything, when you do something over and over, you get trapped into habits. Sometimes they're good habits, but in this case, I, there were bad habits. See, so what was happening is that because I didn't start the process of learning guitar by engaging my ear, it was really difficult later on when I realized that I had problems to bring in that essential component of music. You may have been playing guitar for years, maybe even decades. And you're at a point where you feel comfortable with your instrument, but you feel stuck. It's a very common thing. You probably feel even more stuck if you've been relying on guitar tabs for a long time. Now don't worry, we're gonna fix that, but you need to promise me that for a full week, you're not going to look at a single guitar tab. Now there's a second thing. I want you to take your guitar and get rid of it for just a few minutes. But the reason we got rid of the guitar is that any time you give a guitar to a guitar player, he's gonna start thinking like a guitar player, and he's going to start to noodle around the neck. But we don't want that, because we really want to engage the most important thing you can engage when trying to figure out how to play the guitar, and that's your ears. All right, so we're gonna to try to figure out a piece without any tabs. Let's see what we have here. We'll just listen to the first section of this piece that I recorded a few years back. We don't need more than that. We're still gonna leave our guitar over there because I want us to focus on different layers of what's going on musically. The first layer is the rhythm layer. So we're gonna to listen to this again and just focus on the rhythm of what the guitar is playing. And you can hum that along if you'd like. There's some recurring things going on there, right? Da, 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 da. That's super helpful because that gives you an idea of what your right hand is going to do when you approach that on your instrument. Now, the second layer is a visual layer. For this, we're gonna listen to the pitches going on. Now, we're not trying to figure out those pitches just yet, but we're thinking of the direction of these pitches. If this is the starting note, uh, and the next note is higher, then we're gonna have an ascending line. Uh, uh, if it goes lower, a descending line. Uh, so that's what we're doing here. We are mentally visualizing what is going on melodically. You might need to listen to that several times and that's completely okay. The process will get faster and faster. But now we have two important pieces of our puzzle. We know the rhythm, and we also know the melodic direction. What's really going on here is that you are trying to assemble a very clear picture, whether it's visual or mental, of the musical piece you're trying to study. And uh, not yet. <laughs> Resist the urge to grab your guitar because we're not done yet. See, you're a detective. At this point of the game, we are detectives. We have this thing in front of us, and we're trying to figure out as many things as we can by just listening to it. What other questions can we ask ourselves about this musical piece? The more questions you ask, the more efficient you'll be in the last phase, which is 
the instrument phase. So another question might be, how many pitches do we have in this piece? Let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We all have our own methods of doing that. We all have our set of questions that help us in our quest of figuring out what a musical piece is. By the way, I would love to hear your method of figuring those things out. If you have a set question that you keep asking about a musical piece, whether it's a rhythm thing or a note thing or anything like that, I would love to hear that. Leave it in the comment. I will check them and it'll be really nice to know. All right, it's time to grab our guitar now. We have a pretty good idea of what's going on musically. We just need to figure that out on our instrument. Let's let's do this one more time and we're just going to focus on the very first note that is heard. That was it. We're trying to figure out that pop on the guitar. There it is. I'm playing it on the second string, 13th fret. But as you know, on the guitar, you can play the same exact pitch on different strings, different frets. We're gonna go with that one for now. So second string, 13th fret. So we're gonna go through the list of data that we gathered in our investigation phase. The first layer was the rhythm layer. Remember what it was? If this is our beat, that's something like this. Da -da, da -da, da -da. That kind of feel. The second phase was the direction that we had. We started here and it kept kind of going down. Ba -bum, and then back up, ba -bum, and back up, ba -bum. the line was going down but every once in a while we were going up a step, kind of like climbing down these steps and then one step back and then climbing down. That's the imagery that I have in my mind. So I'm just gonna try to play that on the instrument. Most likely I won't hit the right pitches, but I'm gonna try to stay within that direction. And remember at this point of the game, we're only going off of three pieces of data. We have the starting note, we have the rhythm, and we have the direction. Just wanted to warn you. I had to tell you that because we're not yet playing exactly what is being played. But hopefully what I play will kind of resemble that because of these three pieces of data. Here we go. Not quite, right? But we do recognize some of the elements. Let's not focus on that very last note. We're gonna at least fix that one. Just focusing on the landing note. That one. We're gonna fish around for that. There it is, I got lucky. Second string, fifth fret. So we're starting here on the second string, 13th fret, and we're ending on the second string, fifth fret. So we added one extra piece of the puzzle. We have the starting note, the ending note, the rhythm, and the visual direction of the melodic line. And we did all of that without using a tab. But most importantly, what we did as we're going through this process is re-engaging into our progress of the guitar, the most important element, your ear. Now, yes, this process can seem a little bit slow at first, but if you do this just five minutes every day, you're gonna learn so much more than just studying a guitar tab. Now, all these notes in between that we haven't really focused on will come naturally as you learn new scales. You've gotta be very careful though because scales oftentimes are not taught the right way. Now, let me show you how it's done right here. This will really help you implement what we just talked about. I'll meet you in this video.